Hello all, welcome back to my channel, Hithika Productions. I hope everyone is doing good. So guys, today I'm going to, uh, you know, explain how we can uh, deploy event-based triggers in control room. So there are a few videos uh, on, uh, you know, uh, triggers uh, in my channel. So especially uh, those, those we are seen, uh, you know, uh, in the creator license, like let's say, uh, we have implemented a trigger and we have ran through it uh, through the creator license so today uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to deploy this uh, you know trigger into the control room and run the bot in unattended port let's see how we can make the control room to monitor those events and run the bots okay so guys if you are uh, you know watching my videos first time and visiting my channel first time uh, do subscribe and hit uh, bell icon uh, and allow for uh, all notifications so that whenever I upload new videos, you will get the notifications. So uh, as part of this, uh, I'm going to show you like, uh, you know, simple uh, email uh, trigger based bot. And uh, I will show you how, how we'll show you like, you know, how we can do the check-in and then uh, how to enable the event to trigger and uh, how the bot runner is going to monitor. And there are a few uh, control room based settings to be monitor, you know, keep in mind for that particular device. Let's uh, move ahead. As I said, uh, this is, I just created a simple, but let me show you clear, uh, quickly. So this is, uh, you know, email based uh, trigger. I just, uh, you know, monitoring one of the email box, which is the Gmail. And then, uh, you know, whenever there is an email comes right i'm just responding back to the respective email whenever this bot is triggered uh, it is going to take the sender email and it is going to respond to them saying this is what hello this is the confirmation email from a360 regards regarding the email triggers and uh, subject will be trigger confirmation from a360 and whatever the subject is going to send by sender the same subject will be included within the brace okay okay uh, let's move on so this is the task simple task let me do the check-in okay let's do check-in okay this is checked in and it is now in uh, public folder so uh, i'm just uh, turning uh, you know my license to admin i don't have permissions to uh, I don't have permissions to do uh, even based uh, create the event based triggers so i'm just turning it okay so now i just logged into admin and then uh, see this is the main place uh, you can enable the event based triggers so this option is only available or visible to you when you have the permissions okay so this is the one uh, we are going to enable the triggers so let's let's click on this and add this so here is the whatever you know the trigger based rights those will be listed here you can select whatever you wish to do okay the next and it will ask uh, associated this bot with uh, what either user based or role based i will just select a role based okay add event uh, trigger okay now event trigger successfully created you can see this right now let's uh, let me quickly show you the configuration which i told you right uh, under the device let's go here so guys uh, this is my device okay this is my device so this is the device where i have installed my control room which means this is the control room server rdp mission so I am just using the same mission for the runner. So I am using the same mission for runner also. The reason is to avoid the cost, you know, related things. I am just using it, the same mission. But in general, in ideal cases, the control room hosted mission should not be used for any license. Either it will be a creator license or it will be a runner license. Don't use that. Uh, let, let's... Uh, let it be in a unique mission so that it will have different more different you know process to be monitor or whatever it has to be done right let it be uh, freed up the mission don't use the same mission for a creator or runner just for my you know cost avoiding i'm just using the same mission same control room hosted rdp mission as a runner mission 
okay so uh, let me quickly show you the settings which i told so auto login i just enabled see this is the control room server that is where you cannot see anywhere the log off option so i just said just do the log the session if it is existed session just do log the session that's it right then screen resolution if you have if you are using uh, you know ui related automation this is going to be a matter if it is a backend related then it doesn't matter so deployment it's a single user and rdp mission i just enabled and this is a normal settings so auto login timeout if you want 120 seconds or 180 seconds whatever it is you can do it minimum is 30 and maximum is 180 okay so this is where uh, i'm done so even i just created an event also and uh, i just shown the you know uh, different configuration parameters which a device must have let's uh, drop an email this is my mailbox bot is going to monitor on this mailbox whenever there is a new email comes it is going to be triggered let's try to uh, you know so the email id which i am going to use is appear demo user double line double line at gmail.com okay this is the email id so let's drop it from my another email i would say trigger test one i'm just sending without body i'm just sending it so let's see if the email comes so i can just monitor whether a bot is how the bot is going from here so not happen anything let's see if the email arrived yes it arrived so there is 15 seconds uh, you know interval so every 15 seconds the bot is trying to look for the events if there are any it is going to run okay let's see i think it's more than uh, 15 seconds still there is nothing happened let me quickly log into uh, you know my control room server and see why this has not happened. Okay, this is my control room server. This is connected and up and running. Let me do one thing. Let me quickly uh, stop and uh, you know restart my agent. See, so usually when you guys uh, do start and restart, uh, maybe you might use a restart option. Sometimes what happen if the you know backend things were not quickly stopped, then it is going to be a trouble. It's going to be a problem. So better you can stop it and uh, give some 15, 30 seconds delay and then start it. So that it uh, helps. Not sure why. okay this is starting now now you can see trigger configuration successfully started i'll just minimize this and try to try to see if uh, we trigger it again is that going to work or not trigger test one let's see if uh, this has come or not email not yet uh, received by the mailbox let's see if there is something yeah see it is started bot run by trigger device acquired by user bot sent to device okay 
and then run bot deployed and then run bot finished right see as i mentioned right the functionality is something like this it is going to trigger and it reply back see this is the subject type i sent and this is where we saw that right this is the confirmation email from a360 regarding the email triggers and my subject is kept in in between the brackets right let's do one more time uh, the same and uh, trigger test let's say two now let's see see guys this is these are the events basically whenever there is a, you know trigger based bot deployed right these are the events supposed to happen bot run by trigger device acquired by user bot sent to device and then bot uh, run bot deployed and finished these are all the events so now i can see the second email also arrived and if i can uh, refresh mine see uh, bot deployed finished see sometimes these logs might be jumbled you can see it here it, it's supposed to be first this one and the second this one but here you can see this is what first happened and this is what second happened the order of sequences happened in the backend correctly but uh, the ui is showing something wrong or jumbled okay don't mind about it so this is how so you might uh, you know observe one thing when i came out from my rdp mission i just minimized it right but if you can see now it is going to be locked the reason behind is let me close this you might see you might uh, ask a question if you minimize or if you uh, locked it is going to be attended mode right let me close this and do it run it again so that you will be 100 percent sure that this bot run and in unattended mode okay trigger test 3 so this is the third email. So this is the third email and so the last run is 1927. So as I said, it takes 15 uh, yeah, 15 seconds. Now you can see the sequences. Bot run by trigger. Now there is no RDP mission opened or no, no nothing, right? So the reason why it got locked means uh, if you remember the device settings, right? Which I mentioned. See, this is done. Now you can see that acknowledgement email also. You can see the first one, second one, third one, everything, right? So as as I mentioned, it triggered the bot and then it uh, in you know implemented the functionality so as i said right just now i showed you that the rdp mission got locked the reason behind it is i already showed the device settings right this device settings not here yeah here see everywhere i mentioned if uh, see choose how you wanted to create a session for a bot to run reuse an existing session if available that is the reason the rdp mission is opened and it has been used and once the execution is completed it done the lock okay and even though if there is existing locked session use that and then go ahead and lock it once you've done so likewise i just mentioned since the runner mission is my control room hosted uh, rdp mission i don't want it to log off if i log off it's nothing going to work because the rdp the you know control room itself wanted to monitor that events right if it is locked off it's not going to work so that is where i just mentioned everywhere lock the you know session but in general practice you can use the separate rdp mission so that if even if you wanted to log off after the you know session or after the bot execution is completed it's going to work so guys so this is how we can uh, you know implement uh, you know uh, email triggers are the similar fashion you can uh, implement the triggers in uh, you know how, how we can deploy them into the uh, unattended mode control room right so thanks for watching i hope uh, this video helps you to implement uh, you know email based triggers uh, through unattended bot uh, deployment mode so if you if you like the video please do like and share subscribe so that 
whenever i upload a new videos you will get the notifications thanks for watching and uh, see you again in the next video thank you bye bye